Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS STTM programming. In this video, we will see how to create a trial arm starter set for an example study which is of parallel design and which contains three arms. So let us first try to understand the concept of trial arms. So the entire duration of expected participation in a clinical trial can be split into several distinct periods of time. So these distinct periods of time are called elements. So any, an element may involve some giving some treatment to the subject or it may involve not providing any treatment to the subject. So treatment elements involve treating the subjects with one of the study drugs like investigational drug or matching control and your matching control could involve active control or placebo and then the no treatment elements include preparing a subject for treatment so which is generally called as screening and washing out of any prior treatments so which can be called as wash out and observation period post treatment so which is often called as follow up so sdtm standard has a data set named trial elements which is used to describe all the possible elements within a study which means so the possible periods of time would be described in a data set called trial elements a subject's journey in the trial can be described as a combination of these elements so a subject's journey could be a combination of these all possible plant elements so in some cases a subject may be going through all the possible elements or only a set of those possible combinations so sdtm data set sdtm describes arm as the planned path through the trial so sdtm standard has a data set named trial arms to describe the sequence of elements for each arm as the elements or the planned sequence of elements could differ from one arm to other so the expected record structure for ta domain is one record per planned element per arm so what we are seeing in this lesson is a three arm study so what type of information is typically collected or presented in trial arms domain is we have study identifier and the domain name so for ta it has to be trial arm so the abbreviation is ta so and we will present the planned arm code description of planned arm planned order of element within each arm and then the element code description of the element branching rule transition rule where applicable epoch so let us now try to understand the study design for which we are trying to create our trial arm data set so we have it in the lesson description so here in this study example study which we are looking at is having three arms so we are trying to compare our 300 mg dose of CAG 801 and 600 mg of 801 against placebo so there are three arms in this study so in which we have seen in a previous video how we can create our trial elements data set so there are five distinct periods of time so the first distinct period of time that the subject could be in a screening or the period of time where the subject may be taking 300 mg if he or she is assigned to 300 mg and there will be a period of time the subject could be exposed to 600 mg if the subject is assigned to the group with the first of 600 mg and there will be a period of time a subject could be taking placebo if he or she is assigned to placebo arm and then there will be a period of time when the subject could be undergoing follow-up so five distinct elements are possible out of which the possible elements undertaken by each subject will be based on the arm to which they belong to so if the subject belongs to 300 mg arm so they will have screening element and then followed by 300 mg element 
followed by follow up and then if a subject is assigned to 600 mg so they will have screening element 600 mg element and follow up element similarly for subjects who are assigned to placebo arm so the possible elements are screening so placebo and then follow up so out of the five distinct periods possible in the study so we have three different sequences available for each of the three arms so we will be describing those planned sequence of elements within each arm in our trial arms so the distinct periods of time would be described in your trial elements and the sequence of those elements within each arm would be described in your trial arms so now let us see the specification for this so as described in the trial elements as well so we will not have any formal specifications for any of the trial design domains so we need to create the trial design domains based on the information present in the protocol so we are being asked to take a look at the lesson description for the study design and then in turn create our trial arms data set so which we have already seen so there are three arms and then we have identified or understood the possible path or periods of sequence of periods for each of those arms we will now see how to create it so similar to trial elements data set so some programmers prefer creating the entire trial arms structure within a an excel file and then write a sas program to import that excel file and create trial arms data set and while others may prefer creating trial arms data set purely in the sas program by assigning explicit values to each of the required variables and create a record for each of the possible element within each arm so we are taking the second approach here so here we are assigning the lengths of the required variables so we have seen as part of the concept that what all variables will be needed in our trial arm data set so we have study id domain arm cd arm element order within that arm element code element branching rule and then transition rule epoch so in this example we will not need transition rule so we will leave it as blank so the hypothetical study which we are taking is having a study id of 801 let's assume that it has study id is csg801 so we are assigning that text to study id variable and then as this is trial arms the abbreviation for uh, trial arms data set is ta so we are assigning that text to the domain variable and then we have three arms possible the first one is corresponding to 300 mg dose and the second one is corresponding to 600 mg and the third one corresponds to placebo so we are creating the planned sequence of elements for each of the arms so we will now begin with the first arm which is our 300 mg arm so for 300 mg arm so we are assigning the text of csg 300 to the arm cd variable and arm value as csg 801 300 mg q2w so this arm so we'll have we have seen that this arm will have the sequence of screening and then 300 mg element and then followed by follow up element so we would create a row for each of these elements so the first element for the subjects who are assigned to 300 mg group is screening so we that is indicated as one in trial arm element order so ta is trial arm et is element ord is order so our order with order of the element within the trial arm so this is the first element within the csg 300 mg arm so element code is scrn element name is screening so when does does branching happen at the end of this element yes so it where does the branching lead to so it leads to when the subject is randomized to csg 801 300 mg q2w so which is once in every two weeks so 
transition rule is not applicable for this example we'll try to see it in a later video and then the epoch the upper level classification of element is our epoch so it is also a period of element but is defined across different arms so the planned purpose of this study across different arm is to screen the subject so we are assigning the text of screening to the epoch variable and then outputting this record when this output statement is executed we have the arm cd as 300 mg so and the corresponding arm value and all the other variables are assigned with the required values for this element so the record is written to the output data set and then we are creating our second element within the first arm so the second element within the first arm of 300 mg is the element corresponding to the period when the subject is taking 300 mg dose and then we are assigning the value of CAG 300 to the element code and then the text describing that element to the element variable so there is no branching applicable after this element so we will leave trial arm branch variable null and then as mentioned earlier trans uh, trial transition rule is not applicable in this study so we are leaving that null so this element corresponds to treatment so the broadest classification of periods of time is treatment at this level so we are using the text treatment for epoch variable so the granular approach is during the period of time and uh, this arm of 300 mg so under treatment the subject would be taking a dose of 300 mg so we are specifically describing that period of time with CSG 300 but the broad grouping is treatment so we are using the broad classification under epoch variable and then we are outputting that record and then after the subject completes the element 2 which is uh, CSG 300 element the subject would move on to the follow-up element so we the third element within 300 mg arm is our follow-up element so we are using an abbreviation of fu to etcd and follow-up in element variable and there is no branching or transitioning after this element so we are leaving those variables as null and we are using the text of follow-up in epoch variable and then outputting the record so the planned sequence for arm 300 mg is screening and then followed by 300 mg element and then followed by follow-up element similarly for 600 mg the planned sequence is screening the element corresponding to 600 mg and then followed by follow-up and similarly for placebo so arm the planned sequence of elements is screening placebo and then follow-up so we are assigning or creating rows for each of the three possible arms so and describing a row for each of the possible elements in that arm so let us now take a look at the final data set that gets centered out of this code so here here is the trial elements data set which we have created in a previous video so we are creating trial arms as a combination of the possible elements in the study so for the first arm which is 300 mg the sequence was screening 300 mg element and then follow up and then for 600 mg so we made use of the screening element and then 600 mg element and then follow up element and then we have for placebo element uh, arm so the planned sequence of elements is screening placebo and then follow up so out of all five possible periods of time so the sequence of elements differ within an arm so we are creating the planned sequence of elements within each arm here so this is how you can create your trial arm data set after you have defined your trial elements so trial elements is the first data set that has to be created as part of your trial design domains and then making use of trial elements so you would de define your trial arms because trial arms is nothing but a planned sequence of elements within each arm so thank you for watching and keep learning